beautiful. We've got our node here now. So why don't we get set up here? So let's first of all put our excavator down. What? Wow, that's fast, baby. What is going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome back to Craftopia. We are going to do a little bit of homekeeping today to get some more automations complete. Firstly is going to be some more automations with farming. I don't want to have to harvest this myself. So two things are going to happen here. One, I am going to plop a chest down here. If I have one, I think I do. There's one. I've got a chest. I'm going to just kind of plop it maybe here might work fine. Then I'm going to get a sucker on it. We're going to absorb it that way. And then over here, did I grab them? I did grab them. But over here, I went back and learned the blueprint to make this, the reaping machine. You get the reaping machine from the farmer or the merchant in this town by giving him 25 rice, okay? So I'm going to grab these and just kind of place them. Like, is that in the way? That doesn't even do anything. Okay. Give me that reaping machine. I'm curious because it won't let me put it in them, but... Okay, what about right there? There we go. So just kind of put these on the edge, like almost inside of it. Also going to take this absorber out of here. Ow. Thank you. Just because I don't want these to get lost over here. And back to a... Back to Reapers. Same thing though. I also don't want them the the Reapers to be in the way. So I want to make sure that they cut outside the scope and then everything has a smooth path getting in. So I'm going to put this one on the outside as well. There we go. So now at least one little bit more is automated. Now you're probably like, well, how do we get the rest automated? That's a fantastic question that we'll get to. So firstly, though, I am going to put my cabbages in here. The next thing that we want to get is the seed extractor, okay? So with the seed extractor, we're going to need more rice. So I think we needed 50 rice for that. So if I come back here, I don't think I have my rice seeds on me. I think they might be in here. Here's some rice seeds. So I'm just going to throw these on my hotbar here. Where are they? Rice seed? Oh yeah, they come up here. They're part of your inventory for some reason. I'm going to throw these here for now, just so I can have them, as well as my watering buckets for ease of access while we're kind of hanging out at the house. So we're going to plop those down. We're going to water them and let that go. All the uh, more automations will come later, but at least at this point in the game, we can start reaping. And I also want to build a monolith here. So let's come... Is that here? I think it was at this station, right? Scroll it down. Monolith. Right here. So we can make a small one or a 3x3. Three three. Let me make a small one to see what that area kind of looks like. Because remember, the more of these you make, the more potential you have to lag your game out. So be careful. I also don't like that the area can't be rotated. Like, you know what I mean? Because I built this at an angle now, I am effectively handicapped and I can't rotate. Whoopsies. So this is kind of useless to me, then that's fine. I'm actually just gonna plop it over here, perhaps. Yeah, I'll plop it right here for now. Just for our fermentation and cooking. Those can just use that. I'll grab some more iron. I don't have enough, which is okay. We can look into that a little bit later because we are going to be hanging out here for some time. So some other automations we need to start working on is automated mining. So I'm pretty sure we unlocked that. I just don't know if we unlocked the actual recipe. That's the one confusing thing about this now is don't know where all the recipes are. Okay, we do have it. So the excavator is here. 
So I'm just going to need silver cog wheels, batteries, and bioethanol. So why don't we come back here? And actually, you know what I do want to do? I want to grab these out of here. Give me this. Give me that. And I'm going to move. I want to move you a bit. Give me the Reaper. Uh-oh. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Give me the Reaper. Thank you. Plop a floor down here. Okay. Give me this. We're gonna we're gonna do this farm elsewhere. I'm thinking we'll do it over here. That's already set up with this field. Chunk. Yeah. I can kinda just place this over here, which is good. So what I will do is grab our two wheat fields that I do have now. One two wheat fields two reapers but i'm pretty sure these wheat fields can be harvested with one because of the way they work so now let's throw down a chest i think that should be okay if not we can rotate let's grab an absorber like this We'll keep an eye on that, see how that goes in a second. And then I do want to put a cooking pot. Right there. And I need this. Delivers raw materials from the chest to be processed in a facility. So we'll put that here. Perfect. I'm going to set this up to make wheat flour infinitely on AutoCraft. And then this needs to be dumped this way towards our craft towards our chest right so we'll dump it over there and then ideally we also need an aging facility now we can probably do this a bit manually for the time being until we get some better materials however come over here aging facility Kind of the same thing. I'm just going to plop it this way. Probably like that. I am going to put a connector over here. Thank you. And here, we're going to set this up to make bioethanol infinitely. Oh, it actually just uses wheat. So, actually, I don't want this to make wheat flour. I thought it needed wheat flour. So, I'm just going to... I'm just going to take this out. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to take this out. Take that out. That'll work. And then I can put the dropper... Like that. Alright, let's see. I don't think that's hitting, obviously. Is that going to hit? That's okay. Okay, okay, go go away. Reaping machine. No! It said reaping machine. You bitch. Alright, that's fine. Give me this. We'll just we'll do these onesie twosie here again. No problem, you know? No big deal. Put one here. I'll put one there. Oh, that's still not hitting it. Wow. All right. How about, like, right there in the back? Is that good enough? Thank you. That was annoying. Okay, we got that now. And now we've got... Automated bioethanol. That actually seems a lot faster than it used to be. I just want to make sure that spit out. And actually, you know what? Just to make sure we don't lose these. Just in case, you know? Just do one of these right there. Actually, I might as well do one more up here. There we go. I keep throwing this stupid water everywhere. And now, it's going to spit out that bioethanol. 
it is a little off. Oh, it got in there. Okay. Maybe if I take the dropper. Angle it more like that, perhaps. That might be okay. All right, cool. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Nice. So we do need to get automated watering. However, we don't unlock sprinklers for a little while. Another thing we can do while we're here is talk to our boy Anubis. What's up, bro? Gotta, gotta hit the right angle. He sits on a weird spot here. There we go. Thank you. So I'm going to use a slate of growth. We've got nine of them now. So I'm going to get stamina increases still. Thank you. And also with this, we've unlocked the use a slate of evolution functional extension however first i'm just going to exchange my soul orbs we've got what did i get in here blueprint for refining stones the crab pot the lantern here we get the healing perk for the pets as well as another 10 slate of evolutions and we get a new refining stone okay cool so what does this work as so soul orbs and slates to use in various places okay so i can get cloud storage i don't know what that is material inventory building inventory consumables and equipment well so think about this personally but my consumables and my materials are always the ones overflowing right so what i'm gonna do is just upgrade those so i'm gonna do consumables and material i'm gonna do material twice and i'm thinking that gives maybe just like one slot each yeah like consumables too okay cool and I'm going to do that for all of them. The, re the last two are going to also be the material slots. Just because those are the ones I always seem to fill up on super fast. All right. Now we've got some bioethanol generating. Do I have five? I've got eight. Good. Come back this way. And here. We need to start doing, like I was saying, we're going to make a extractor or an excavator i need to grab some cog wheels and silver ingots all right i finally found an iron node i think this is the closest one to my house i need to remember where this is first of all and so i'm gonna put a mark here i've been running around this whole area trying to find an iron one because that's what i care about right now there's plenty of copper around my house because this is obviously a lower tier zone. However, there was no iron. So I'm going to farm just some like ineffective iron here for a little bit. Just so I can uh, bring some of this home. So we can make some automation to bring it back here with me. Because we're going to set up a small little base here. To do an automated mining facility. Came back to base. Made up some iron. Made up some silver. So I just need, I need a couple more cog wheels. So I need two cog wheels. So why don't I set this up here for two. And then we're going to need some conveyor belts as well as a storage chest. Now I know I have a few in my pocket. What do I have? I've got two in two angles. So could be okay, but we should get some extras just in case. Pretty sure they just take like some iron or something very simple. Cog wheels and iron, okay. So let's make this first, and then I'm gonna go make some extra cog wheels over here. How many can I make? I'm gonna set this for 10. Craft me 10 of those. And that should help out with that. Grab my excavator. Next, uh, do I have a chest? That's gonna be the kicker here. Do I have a... Yes, we do have the container. So I need three chests, which I may need to go grab some wood for. Yeah. Yeah, let me grab the wood over here. Grab this out of here too. And actually, I know I picked up some extra silver. Craft that up. Grab some wood. Here's some wood. And grab these. Come back here. Let's see. Chests. Oh, I need some stones too. You'll notice I'm jumping higher. Just for your reference here, I saved my first loadout as an archer down in here. And right now I just did some gathering stuff and some jumping power. Okay, grab those. Okay, now we're gooch. All right, cool. Give me three of these. 
I grabbed that chest, right? Yes. And, you know, while we're here, let's get some rice growing. Thank you. Things to do while I'm in town. Chests are ready. Let's make the big boy chest. Thank you. Big boy chest has been made, and now we just need some conveyor belts. We also don't have big boy smelting, it looks like. No, I don't see it at least. Yeah, I just have we just have a regular stone furnace. We don't have the automated version of that, and that's okay. We can get that eventually at some point, I'm sure. So I do need to make one of these, so I need a bit more iron. Damn. Actually, maybe... No, I might just grab a couple of these. Let me just grab four of these. Grab four of those. Let me make a couple conveyor belts here. I can make 20, so let me make five of these. And... Oh, it makes 10 at a time, silly boy. And then make me one of these. These are cheap, okay, cool. Give me that and that, that'll be okay. So just to make sure I understand my inventory, I've got some platforms in case I need to house it a bit. And then we've got conveyors. Why are these in two different conveyor spells? The excavator as well as the storage chest and the monoliths. All right, I'm gonna head back to the island that we marked, which is that way. It is this way. Beautiful, we've got our node here now. So why don't we get set up here? So let's first of all, put our excavator down. What? Wow, that's fast, baby. All right, cool. So then with this, let's first drop these monoliths here. So, okay, cool. So this is the first block. That works for me. I'm gonna toggle it on so I can see. And let's do conveyor belt. This. Maybe it'll be better if I start with an up ramp like this. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. And then I'll go conveyor belt. To here. And then we'll grab this chest. And I'm thinking... Which way? I think it goes this way. So I could do this maybe, and it could look nicer. Let's see. Let me grab that belt. Let me grab this belt. We might just be able to keep this on the ground and keeping it looking decent. Might not be able to though. Let's see. Pathway. Is it gonna... No, it doesn't get a secret little link on that. Oh wait, maybe. Ah, it does. Little, little secret conveyor in the grass. Nice. So I will do this too. I'm going to throw a little stone wall down. Just in case. So like that way it hits like that. We saw one of those. One of those went pretty high. What is this bird doing here? Goodbye bird. What the, no, get off the thing. So now, could I, th I wonder if I could, I could probably throw another one on here, but generally you don't really need more than one. I'm also just going to throw an extra monolith here just in case. Like that. There we go. So now we can see that these are all encompassed just in case something weird happens with the world as it's traveling. Okay. So now, I think, no, it's, oh yeah, is this, can I do it from the other side too? Hey, they made it so you can do it from both sides. So now we can see we are gathering our sulfur, stone, iron ore, 
crystal, crude oil, and sand. It gives everything, which is interesting. Previously, these nodes only gave iron. So whatever, that's okay. We'll have to figure out some sort of like sorting feature with this perhaps. Like we might be able to use these craft connections here with these now too. I'm not sure. Didn't do that before. What we used to just do is you would farm these things. So it, so it just only gave you iron anyways. And you had a smelter set up to fill, to smelt the iron into bars. And then you can set up automated crafting. But here you go. So here's our first little automation here. We'll probably do something similar with copper next, but I just wanted to get this going. So while we are off doing other things, we're gathering iron and then we can bring that home. Just kind of check in over here. Make sure it's doing good. Punch the bird. I stunned the crap out of that bird. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. So now that's doing that, it's doing its good thing. We can go home. We just got to remember that's over there. Oh, actually, we can see the monoliths on the map. So that's one way I guess we can tell where we are. See, we've got two little artificial monoliths over there. And we can grab a little bit of this. Hit that up. Probably make that a 4x4 four four soon, but not too worried about it. Oh, there it goes. And hit the seed patty. Bam. Bam. Let that grow. I am also going to throw a monolith over here. Might just do have to do two because of these weird angles. But you know what? It is what it is. So let's do this. And then I think if I do it right here, that'll be okay as well. So those will continue to do its thing even when we're gone. And that's just to future proof it a bit. So when we do have full automation that this will work. And also when we step away like we did, at least it all comes back into our chest. So we've got 40 rice in here right now, which means I have 53 rice. So why don't we go buy our seed extractor and just so everyone can remember where he is, we'll take a walk together. Coming on up here. Oh yeah, I forgot we had this too. So we can also set one up for stone. But we might not need it, but we can buy as well. That never hurts. Okay, and our merchant. Want to buy something, so we can obviously buy more blueprints. You can use those for other things. However, we want... Oh, it's a hundred. Oh, you little cheeky bitch. Well, all right, I'm going to take... Ten more seeds. I'm going to take ten more seeds. And then uh, we'll work on farming as well but why don't we go turn in our last couple quests here do i have everything on me i've got seven water let me go grab that out of the chest <clears throat> and then we can consider this area complete now this chest yeah there's my water i should have my cheesecake on me so if we head back into town let's see one's here thirsty as a camel who is cheesecake Right, he doesn't have anything for us anyways. Please, water. Deliver the water. Alright, cool. Got the water. Um, you have something else? You feel sick from drinking so much water? Well, yeah. That's fair. Where's this other quest for the cheesecake? That's the lizard tail. That's the duel. cheesecake oh maybe it's because i'm not tracking it Duh. mission this one gourmet club milestone there he is i found you and now we can give you some cheesecake that's complete oh you want steak I've got, f I happen to have exactly five steak on me. You good now? All right, cool. Good, good chat. Appreciate you. That was a good little time there. Where is my home? I always get lost here. I think I live this way. I live this way. 
There's no sun. I can't see my cardinal directions. But beautiful. So now we've got our... We've got, you know, farming set up for what it can be automated at the moment. Not a lot. Not until we can get the sprinkler. And I don't remember if there was a way to automate the seed planting or not. I really don't recall now, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll get these taken care of. We also got <clears throat> wheat working on the opposite side here. This one can be fully automated because the, the wheat grows on its own. So once we get sprinklers unlocked, bioethanol and wheat will be perfectly okay on its own. We can even see we've already got 26 bio, which is good. Which actually means we're making it slightly faster or getting wheat slightly faster than this. So we might have to grab a couple of these, which is a good thing. That's a good problem to have. It seems like they kind of increased the speed of that too. I remember that being super slow. And we do need to set up functionality to create rubber. Uh, I can't use it during auto production, but we got to make the rubber and something else. I don't remember what it was now. I'll have to, I'll have to double check. Maybe it was like cotton linen or something. And then we can start progressing this area as well. But all right, brothers and sisters, when we come back next time, I think we'll go attack the dungeon, get a little bit of combat in and, you know, change the pace up a bit. And then when we come back here, we'll see how much iron we've mined out. So then we can process that into bars. And I want to get a copper automation started as well. And in the meantime, I do need to just kind of be working on these farms over here so we can unlock more crops. But all right, brothers and sisters, as usual, this has been Shabby Doo. And hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.